This is Soniara Lin, and you are now listening to the Anime Assembled Podcast with your host, Indy Uchia and John Forsaken Power. Yo, 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 what's going on? You already know what it is. It is Anime Assembled. I can't yell it like I normally do because um, I have a, a, a tooth issue going on right now. I'm in an incredible amount of pain and all the pain pills and the um, aura gel is not working. So, and I can't get into a dentist until next week. Uh, I actually go into a dentist and get my um, COVID shot the same day. So yay me. But as always, I want to thank the beautiful Sonia Relan for that incredible intro. But this isn't anime assembled without my co-host. Round of applause, please. Mr. John for Second Powers. Yo, what's up? What's up? How what's was been, what's been going on, John? Um, nothing much. Man, nothing much. Man, it's been oh, it's been a rough couple of uh couple of days for you telling my eyes. Oh my god! Oh, dude, <laughs> believe me, I'm right there with you. It's been bittersweet. A lot of things going down. Anime season coming to an end too. So with the coming yeah. of season ending, a lot of shows coming to an end. Uh, although, although we have got San Diego Comic Con, which is actually going to be in the fall, uh, uh, coming back. So I'm honestly thinking about making that trip. I got myself on the list, so hopefully okay. I get selected to get tickets to go. Um, it, it, so. it, it'll feel real good uh, for con season to come back for us to be doing that. Uh, hopefully, um, well, what's the what's the anime con that you go to? Um, Asen, open up uh, the Rosemont. Yeah, hopefully Asen, you know what I'm saying, jumps off and comes back. Um, oh, I was I was actually going to go last time with y'all, and then pandemic happened. Yeah, <laughs> uh, it didn't it didn't work out, you know. Nah, it didn't, but, it didn't work out at all. But I'm yeah. I'm definitely looking forward to that. Man, we got a lot of uh, different news to talk about, especially with all so these so much, man. All these joints in it. But first off, we want to let y'all know that. If you don't want to watch the video, you don't want to do a YouTube ads or anything, become a patron. When you become a patron and show your support for A plus opinions, A plus hero report, A plus more phenomenal, with $1, $5, and $10 tiers, you get the audio only versions of every pod and review we do up there for included in your deal. Of course, you also get access to the Discord so you could talk about how much you hate our opinions. Or an anime. It's the best place to do it. One dollar, five dollar, ten dollar tiers. We have character breakdowns. We have Sentai exclusive reviews all on Patreon. So help us bring more content to you by showing support for the page that you love. I like it. That's getting easier every time. <laughs> oh yeah, dude. It's smooth. Yeah. <laughs> it it's definitely smooth. is. But man, um, Attack on Titan has been amazing. Um, yeah. My Hero has been amazing. Jujutsu Kaisen. Mm -hmm. it, it's a lot of great animes out there. Um, mm -hmm. I got reincarnated as a spider, so what? It, it's it's a lot of stuff to watch. Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, yeah. And it's, oh, it's so good. And it, it hurts because now I have to wait, you know, like two months, three months or whatever. I got to wait till July for that time I got reincarnated as a slime. Uh, winter for Attack on Titan. Gotta wait. Uh, God knows how long for Black Clover. No, we we, Yo, we got a lot popping. Black off, Black, Black Clover. I don't see even coming back for like maybe a year or two. I, th I think I think they, I think they need to get some manga chapters mm -hmm. ahead so they don't catch up. Um, at least we got Barto. It looks like it's, we're gonna get the time skip. True. So. You know, True. actually, actually getting into some good bar so, but a lot, a lot's been going on. Um, Attack on Titan has been amazing, and since we're speaking on Attack Absolutely on Titan, stuff. let me go ahead and share this for the people. Let, let's get right into it. All right, all right, all right. Attack on Titan, final season, part two, announced for twenty of course twenty two. Of course. <sighs> the I knew there was no way they could have crammed it in from the pace that they were doing, that they were going to do it in 16 episodes. There had to have been something extra. There's no way. I'm so I'm so glad that they actually were like, yeah, we're doing an extra part. Don't worry. 
And tell me how you feel about Reiner, uh, how you feel about Aaron and everything mm. that's going on. And then just seeing him look up at them sky ships and the first thing he yells at his Titan form is Reiner. Dude, that I actually made a post about it on the Anime Assembled Instagram, dude. They they did that so well. They literally played the hell out of that title above and below. It beautifully done. I love it. Just the the transitioning between the two going back and forth and everything like that. It was beautiful. And it just kind of goes to show how everything's kind of been, I don't know, they're kind of trying to flip the script on everything. Like originally, you know, Aaron was the hero and Reiner was the, you know, the quote unquote villain of the series. And now it's more like Aaron's the villain and Reiner's the hero waiting, you know, coming to save the day. And and, and Aaron, Aaron doesn't seem to care how many Titans is around. Like It don't matter. The it, dude's bark. <laughs> dude's balling, dude. It, it don't matter. He, he, did he, get, he did get tricked easily, though. Yeah, but I mean, I feel like that's just that's just simple because, you know, he, he was looking for that end game. He he even though he has this cold front to him i feel like he still has that sympathetic side where he wants to sympathize with whoever he's dealing with you know just like how you know he was taught peak was talking about how you know there's no future with marley the eldians are forever blah 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 we're gonna regain our powers and everything and i feel like he was just like yeah dude i i, I feel that so it's okay we're gonna be together and then Nah, dog. We ain't doing that. We, of course, there's got to be fights. There's got to be a fighting moment, right? So, well, let let's get into what uh, Studio Mappa is doing right here. This comes from Screen Rant. Uh, Mappa, okay. the studio responsible for Attack on Titan final season, have announced that season will continue with a part two set to debut in 2022. Okay. Attack on Attack on Titan final season receiving a part two that's expected release in 2022. The hit anime series is currently airing season four in Japan as well as internationally via streaming services like Crunchyroll and Funimation. In the U.S., the English dub release of Attack on Titan, the final season, has also been airing on Adult Swim's late night Toonami programming block, though delayed by a few weeks. As the name suggests, this is the final season of Attack on Titan, but the final season is being extended. As readers of Attack on Titan manga, on which the anime is based already know there is more story left to cover than the remaining episodes season four would allow. Knowing this, many had already guessed that Attack on Titan final season would be continued in some fashion with an announcement of a movie to wrap everything up considered a likely option. However, the studio responsible for Attack on Titan final season, MAPPA, has instead announced a second half to the final season. This is the announcement they made. Uh, Attack on Titan, the final season, uh, episode 17, coming this winter. Uh, while adamantly vague, anime release schedules typically follow a quarterly pattern, and winter shows generally release in January or February. This makes it likely that a release this winter means early 2022. However, Attack on Titan, Attack on Titan final season part one began airing in late December. So a final release in the final weeks of 2021 isn't entirely out of the question. As the most recent entry in the anime season four, episode 16, above and below, great episode as we were just talking about it, the show has 23 chapters of the manga left, manga left to adapt. Previously, Attack on Titan final season part one adapted 26 chapters of the manga, manga into 16 episodes. So it tracks that the remaining chapters of the manga will be enough to fill at least another 16 episodes. With so much story still left to cover, the decision to add a second half to the Attack on Titan final, fe final season is much better than the choice of a movie. While film could potentially be more high profile way to finish off the popular series, a batch of new episodes will allow Attack on Titan the screen time necessary to give the story's ending the attention it deserves mm -hmm. now this is what this is what i want to get into you with uh okay. do you feel like um choosing to do the second half of the season possibly in 16 episode format was a better choice than a movie mm. for me personally as the viewer i actually much rather seeing it as the season because seeing it if you think about it with with a season, let's just say 16 episodes, 30 minutes a piece, right? You know, mm -hmm. that's that's going to be way longer than any movie. 
of course, you know. And with a movie, right. there there's a certain time constraint that they have to be within, you know. Even some of the longest movies, they're, let's say, three hours long. Three hours, we all know, you can fit maybe three 20-minute episodes in 60 minutes. So what is that? That's nine episodes? That's still, you know, if they made 16 episodes be 26 chapters, and they got, what, roughly 23 chapters left, you, you're not going to be fitting all 23 chapters in that nine episodes of that movie, you know? So I feel like for me personally, it'll be better for the story wise as long as they do it right as long as you know they give it the attention and you know the effort that they need you know to put into it if they give it that it'll work itself out having that longer it'll pay off for them in the long run having that longer amount of time to work with versus having trying to cram the rest of the story into let's say an hour 30 minutes two hours two and a half hours even three and a, a three hour movie which you know granted avid anime fans we're gonna watch a three-hour anime movie you know hands down if we want to watch it we're gonna watch it but i i think it, it's better overall to just do the season versus the movie for this just so we have that you know it doesn't feel like it'll be rushed well why not do both why not do the season and then adapt the season into a movie um i've had show i watch shows like Barto and naruto do the reverse where they where they do the movie and then adapt it into the season mm -hmm. You know what i'm saying later so why, why not you know what i'm saying do the season and then give us a movie you know what i'm saying to show us maybe a different perspective different look you know that, as a, as a collector just to put it in theater right. i i do think people will go out and if theaters open go out right. to see something like that especially if it's like a limited run similar to the last uh my hero movie that came out that's right. See, I can I can see something like that, but if you think about it, the My Hero movies, they're I wouldn't they're not standalones, but you know, they have they're not like directly the story of the season itself, right? So like, you know, they have their own individual arcing line story that's kinda like in between season I think what was it, movie one was in between uh season two and three or one and two or whatever. Mm -hmm. You know, so like what you're what you're going for I, I i like where that's going in terms of like how you know going back to like baruto and stuff you know how baruto they did the baruto movie first and then they adapted it that's nice i can see something like that in the future because you know how attack on titan is huge it's literally like one of the top shows everybody talks about it everybody knows about it so obviously they're gonna want to push out they're gonna want more content for it so I can see something like that. I mean, they had those OVAs uh, of some of the side stories within the universe. Mm -hmm. So I can see something where they do something like that again after the fact, after they do the season. But at least for all intents purposes right now, with how with the season itself, since they've already kind of done everything else as a season, it just kind of fits better. You know, if that makes sense, because if it's like, you know, we've run four, we've run four seasons of actual like season animes and then, yeah, we're just going to end it with a movie. I don't know. I feel like it's kind of just like. No, I, do, just, I definitely, I definitely we, feel you that, that, that yeah. the series ending in a series and actually having those 16 episodes, whether they're 45 minutes or hour, it, they don't even have to be 40, they could be 30 minutes a piece. Right. But um, having that to end the story is better than the movie. I was just like an adapted into a movie later. Um, when I said sure. My Hero, I was just talking about the way it released in the theater, limited run. Um, right. I was thinking more something like reverse of the way that Baruto does because Baruto seems mm -hmm. to put the movies out and then adapt the movies in the anime. Um, okay. uh, or the same way Dragon Ball did Battle of Gods. You know what right. I'm saying? Like, like that type so. of thing. Yeah, or Resurrection of F. Um, except they would do it in the reverse. They would have the show and then adapt it into a movie, probably spend a little bit more money on animation and stuff like that, you know, right. to, uh, and then release it like a limited run in theaters. I, I would just like to see that high profile mm. uh, animation, you know what I'm and saying? The name style. out there kind of thing. Yeah, yeah type, type deal uh, with a movie. Um, That's for sure. I, I like that, especially because, you know, in a sense, it would kind of be, I wouldn't say like a recap episode in a sense, but like, you know, it'll recap the season, you know, for, you know, so if like, let's say someone didn't want to, you know, 
they didn't want to sit through 30 minute episodes, you know, back to back to back. Right. They just want to have it in one clump sum. It's something, you know, to do even, you know, going to the movies, you can do this with friends, you know, it'd be kind of, it'd be more of like a, I guess a community based thing to do even having it as the right. movie. And then it just kind of, not only that, but you know, when you watch a season, you don't really, you know, fans don't like come together, you know, they don't have like anime watching, you know, with just random people or whatever, but at the movies, everybody going to see that movie, you know, they're an attack on Titan fan. And, you know, it kind of, it brings the community together. And I like that concept, you know, having that, you know, togetherness, you know, with the community, finding other people who have that same kind of click with you. Yeah. Cause I saw I like people that. all, I saw people all ages when it came to that My Hero movie. Right. Um, we just got up and went one day after work. We bought the tickets at work. You know what I'm saying? Make sure I had the tickets. We went and saw it after work. I mean, I'm talking about all ages from like seven up to like 60. And I'm not talking about like grandparents who bringing their kids. I'm talking about like, it was like grandparents there just by themselves, themselves just to watch the right. movie. And so um, that's, that's one thing I do like too, because, you know, some people, they don't really give anime a chance, but by having it in that movie format, some people might just see it because they see the trailer and they're like, yeah, I'll watch a movie. You know, we're, we're already at the movie theater. Well, I'll, I'll watch an extra movie or whatever. You know, mm -hmm. or they they just see that that uh, uh, what is that the um the wall art uh, on the wall at the movie theater, and they're just like, man, that looks cool. You know, I wonder what you know. Maybe they'll think it's a Disney movie or whatever. You know, who cares? But they'll they'll see it, and you know, they'll think, oh yeah, that's cool, and they go check it out, and then that could even bring someone into the anime community. And I I also like that aspect too for it. So I yeah. I, I think that's really cool having you know the different age groups coming together, even like you're bringing up. Yeah, definitely. I, I'm digging that. I'm digging that. Uh, I'm ready for that. I'm ready. Attack on Titan's been dope. Um, it's a lot of anime that's going away, but we do have a lot of anime that's actually coming. And Netflix has been a big player when it comes to that. Uh, you like that segue? Yeah, I, do. I, I really do. That was, that was clutch. That was clutch. Uh, Netflix has been buying a lot of uh, anime, have been doing a lot of original anime, and Netflix and our guy, our guy, the man himself, the man himself, Keanu Reeves, is actually teaming up with Netflix on a Berserker movie anime spinoff series. Look at that artwork. He is gorgeous. Animated yeah. and in real life. Gorgeous. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Keanu Reeves and Netflix are going berserk or rather berserker on Monday. Netflix announced it is developing a live action film and anime spinoff series based on Berserker the Boom, studio comic book created by Reeves. The Matrix star will lead and produce the Berserker movie, as well as voice the character in the Berserker anime series. Berserker is about B, a half human, half god, immortal warrior, 80,000 year fight through the ages, cursed and compelled to violence. He finally finds refuge working for the U.S. government, who in return for fighting their most extreme battles will help me discover the truth of his endless blood-soaked existence and how to end it. Created by Reeves, the 12-issue limited series Berserker, published by Boom Studios, launched earlier this month on March 3rd. I have to say, Boom killed it with the Power Rangers run, right? Mm. Yeah, I think I think they have a WWE run as well. I think, and uh -huh. this run of this Berserker is amazing so far. The inaugural issue has sold more than six hundred and fifteen thousand copies, Jeez. making it the highest selling launch for Boom Studios in almost three decades. Reeves has been developing the idea for a number of years, and he collaborated with New York Times bestseller writer, best-selling writer Matt Kent to bring Berserker to life alongside illustrator and famed Marvel artist, Ron Gardner. Oh. Colorist Bill Crabtree, letterer Clem Robbins, and a character and cover designer, Raphael Grapra. <laughs> While Berserker, the movie will adapt the comic book, the Berserker anime series will expand the Berserker universe by exploring different elements of the story. Mm. For Reeves, this is a continuation of the action man persona he has built, especially with his work in the John Wick franchise. Mm -hmm. On Berserker, mm -hmm. Boom Studios, Ross Ritchie and Stephen Christie and company films, Stephen Hamal will also serve as producers alongside Reeves with Boom Studios, Adam Yolen as executive producer. <sighs> Berserker is part of Boom Studios' first look deal at Netflix. 
Reed's last scene as a rocker turned terrorist, Johnny Silverhand, in the <laughs> B-Linger video game Cyberpunk 2077. Oh, His last movie role was in the sci fi comedy Bill and Ted Face the Music. If you love Bill and Ted or you like Keanu Reeves, please watch that movie. Come on, dude. Reeves crazy. will next be seen in The Matrix 4. Returning to his most famous role as Neo, which which I don't know if Neo is more famous than John Wick nowadays, but was recently yeah, rap filming. The Matrix is due in December. Uh, is due in December. Reeves is set to don the John Wick suit again and soon begins production on John Wick Floor in spring 2021. John Wick Floor is slated for May 2022. Uh, he will film back to back with John Wick Five. Yo, oh it, man, dude. Oh man, oh, your thoughts. So, this isn't even about anime for me in this aspect. It's Keanu Reeves is amazing. I love that dude to death, and I <laughs> just the fact that when they asked him about the John Wick movies, he said he was willing to film as many John Wick movies as fans wanted. That sold me. And the fact that he, of all people, you know, just like all the things that I've seen him in and everything like that, he's actually going to adapt an anime, not only a live action of the anime. So th this is already skipping steps. He's just like, forget how everything's supposed to go. We're, we're doing this my way. We're going to get the live action. We're going to get the anime series all in one, one go. Like, I'm super hyped. Just that art that they they put up as kind of you know i guess a teaser for everybody to get hyped about it you already know this show is going to be good you know if it if it has anything in regards to how the john wick movies go how the matrix movies went your john uh, keanu reeves is gonna kill it absolutely nah, kill it. Uh, keanu reeves is a national treasure i think keanu reeves yes. turned out to be what Nick, everybody thought nicholas cage was going to be he, 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 he Nicholas Cage. He, he, yeah, he, he literally saved, did what he, he saved did. us from Nicholas Cage. Um, hundred percent. As somebody who's reading Berserker, um, I'm very interested in what this could look like in an anime format. But at the same time, I'm curious to see how it would look live action, knowing that uh, Keanu Reeves <laughs> is a live action action star. Like I, th I yes. think the only I think the only person that's top of him right now as an action star is Dwayne the Rock Johnson, especially with that uh, debut True. of the date of when the Black Adam was going to release in Times Square when mm -hmm. they just like just randomly just took it over. I think he's the only person that you could be like, uh, who are we going to take over? Keanu Reeves. You might. I don't. I don't yeah. think there's a a wrong answer when it comes between you know what I'm saying the two of them. So Agreed. I'm. I'm I'm 100% for it. Netflix is doing big things, and this is what's going to keep them in the running as far as when anime goes, especially with the acquisition of Crunchyroll from Sony. Um, I think believe I believe that uh, Netflix has uh, a, a staple in this to start bringing out more original uh, content rather than licensing stuff and be able to catch up to what they're doing. Because man, we know Crunchyroll's got ton. Of original content uh oh, yeah. on that platform and i'm looking to see too if netflix decides they want to since crunchyroll and funimation are you know what i'm saying over there with sony and all that mm -hmm. i'm looking to see if netflix decides to do something with like microsoft or something mm -hmm. like a bundle bundle netflix with uh that their whole games will go not you know what i'm saying not the games with gold, like but the game pass like like add it into the subscription and stuff like that to keep people mm -hmm. on or right. advertise the anime more, you know what I'm saying, on that platform in order to, you know what I'm saying, throw Sony trying to become an anime, you know what I'm saying, powerhouse. True. So so we'll see what happens. I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I, I feel that. I feel that 100%. And I, I, I agree with you there. Netflix is definitely, you know, Sony was trying to close the door, you know, let everybody know, like, hey, we're the big boys in town. And Netflix, you know, that up-and-comer just put their foot in the door and was like, hey, yeah, no, you ain't leaving me out this. You're going to put me in the big boy seat right here, right now. Facts. And then this definitely puts them in a run-in for, like, mm -hmm. the big boy seat. Just okay. Keanu, Keanu Reeves, anime, and live action. Man, it, on, it really don't get no better than that. Oh, of course not, dude. It's Keanu Straight Reeves. Up. It's Keanu Reeves, dude. Straight up.
Speaking oh, yeah. about animes that are getting movies, it's not getting a live action movie. I really don't know what a live action movie with this would look like. It's not getting a live action movie, but hey, we're in for some Black Clover. At least we don't have to oh, wait yeah. too long. True. You know what I'm saying? True. Everybody Black was worried about that. Black Clover is getting a movie. Unfortunately, mm-hmm. we have no idea what's it about or when it will be released. <laughs> well, uh, this this comes to you from Polygon. Um, Black Clover is coming back for a movie. While the anime may be set to end later this month, the series will return with a movie Shonen Jump announced on Sunday. The announcement came with a very short video, but there was, wasn't was much information in it. The video mostly highlights some of the art from the manga and the popularity of the series. And while some of the scenes of the, of the creators behind the anime at Studio uh, Periot, the trailer doesn't appear to have any actual information on what the movie's plot may be. The announcement comes just two days before Black Clover anime is set to end. Black Clover anime has run for four seasons. The show started in 2017, just two years after the manga's debut issue. Episode 170 of the anime, which will be its final episode, is set to air March 30th. Mm. Um, I think this is just something to tempt away our hatred for Black Clover being gone because a show that's been on since 2017 it feels like it hasn't caught its stride. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Until maybe the past two two years. Yeah. That, that, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it still feels fairly new. So for it to be ending this quick mm-hmm. uh, bothers me a little bit. Because I, I just got into it maybe in 2019. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Red? Uh, it, it doesn't feel like it's been on since 2017. It didn't even feel like it was enough to watch that was on for 2017 no, but no. how do you feel how do you feel about them i feel like they're just trying to reel people in to keep them talking about black clover how do you feel about that i i have been with black clover since the premiere of the first episode i mm-hmm. even i tried my damnedest to push you on this show at the beginning but it, it was <laughs> i it couldn't was, get past was, austin's voice though. yeah see that and that's what killed it for a lot of people but finally you know after we moved past that you got into it and it feels like it was so quick, you know, like Mm -hmm. I, I I even had to look back when, when I was finally putting in that last episode on my, my anime list, uh, listing saying that I I completed the show. It blew my mind that it's been out for the past four something years, you know, like I did not think that it's been running for that long. And then just the fact that it's over now and that the movie with nothing about the movie being put out, I feel like it's just, like you said, it's just kind of, they're throwing it out there so people won't just kind of yeah black clover isn't going to show up for the next you know like year and a half two years so all right we're just the hype's going to die down they want to keep that hype train going because once you lose that hype train it's going to be it's going to be hard to bring it back you know and right. i i feel like the the movie is just kind of like they're they're grasping for it you know trying to hold on to the hype train keep it going you know, because even even if let's say, you know, it's like a year from now or whatever, and then the movie drops and then a year from now, the anime opens back up, you know, that it'll still hold people on to the hype train for it because people will still be talking about it. We'll see what happens, man. I'm, I, I think it's a lot of what they're going to. I would like to see what happened in uh, the kingdom that somebody originally came from like prior what happened to his parents so I, i'd like to see something about that you know True. um not necessarily about something that's going on now uh black clover set up perfectly for a prequel movie to let us know what happened that led 100%. up to everything else 100 <laughs> percent. even how the end the last couple episodes have been like they were just those last couple episodes it makes it such a smooth transition to where you could do like a flashback throughout that whole movie and then at the end of the movie it catch up to where we're at into the present and then mm-hmm. immediately the anime pops in you know with the next season and we're ready to go and that would be the best possible route that they could go with this because the the manga the manga is fire black black clover manga is off the chain and mm-hmm. i i can't wait to see some of the stuff and i'm gonna be mad that we won't get some of this stuff animated and it's just well, bothering me. <laughs> well, of course, of course. And some of the stuff that you've shown me, dude, it, it just blows my mind. Like it, it, it's rough because 
I want to keep it fresh and you know I, I don't want to want I don't want to look I don't want to read it but at the same time I want to read it you know <laughs> like oh now that the anime is waiting and I don't know how long we're gonna have to wait for that next season to pop up I I feel like I'm just gonna you know like okay I'll just read every chapter that pops up and then you know we'll move on to whatever and then when the anime pops up maybe I'll take a pause on the manga or something just so it'll no, that, that's what fresh. happened to me the the season ended and I went straight to the manga because I, I couldn't wait. Mm-hmm. I couldn't wait to see what happened. So I had to uh, screw mm-hmm. you for being so good. <laughs> Dude, that's what I did. I did that with uh, the Rising the Shield hero. I did that with Food Wars. I did that with, um, honestly, I started doing that with the God of High School. Don't mm. be mad. But I started I started reading the God of High School because I was just like, no, no, I'm not, I don't know. What the way, the way they ended that, you were like, what the? Really? Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, like, like all, all, all of this in one episode? Like, and you're home. just gonna do me like that? You like, just gonna you do be, me like? Uh, like, I had to go backwards. You gotta be missing something. Like, something else had to happen. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, right. So, and that's I'll just why. Went point, y'all went from point A to point D. Y'all just skip B and C. Mm-hmm. And I just I went straight to the manga, and, I'll, and then I was just like, "Crap! Should I really be reading this? Should I really be reading the <laughs> web comic right now?" And then I'm like screw it it's the god of high school i need to know what happens and then now i'm like at that point again where i'm like should i really be reading this right now <laughs> so it's crazy but oh but these shows but, got me man yeah but speaking of prequels i'm so good at this oh <laughs> i'm so good at oh, this i already know where you're going with this i already know <laughs> it's it's smooth it's smooth man yeah yeah okay speaking bring it hit pre- me with it yeah, speaking of prequels, Jujutsu Kaisen Zero mm. movie release date, plot, and how to watch explained. Oh, a Jujutsu Kaisen movie has been confirmed in production, but the date will be the date of the film will be released around the world, and what will be the plot? In weeks leading up to the season one finale, there were reports that a domain was registered for a Jujutsu Kaisen movie. This was confirmed only hours before the finale aired on March twenty sixth. With the announcement that the movie by the title of Jujutsu Kaisen Zero will be produced by Map Mappa. So Bless. what date do we expect the Jujutsu Kaisen? They make that so hard to say the Juju Kai Zero movie to release <laughs> internationally. And how can you watch around the world? Look at that. Look at that. Oh look at Panda. Look at Panda. Oh my gosh, dude. Beautiful. At the time of this writing. The Juju Kai movie is set to release in winter 2021, but a specific release date has not been confirmed. Whilst it has been announced that Juju Kai Zero will release in winter, a more accurate date has not been confirmed. I just said that. However, fans should remember that the winter 2020 release date will likely only concern the film's theatrical release in Japan. If this is correct, then Juju Kai movie will likely release theatrically around the world between two and five months after the national premiere in Japan. So we're probably looking summer. At an early prediction, the film may release in Japan during late November or early December before arriving internationally in March or April. Again, I'm going to say summer. 100%. Yeah. The plot. It has been officially confirmed that Juju Kaisen Zero will adapt the prequel story to the anime series titled Tokyo Metropod and Curse Technic- Technic- Technical School. Wow. Uh, <laughs> per the Juju Kaisen <laughs> fandom page, the movie will adapt the Curse Child arc. The story here is about a young boy called Yuta Akosukatsu. Akotsu? Akotsu? I yeah who is haunted by his childhood childhood friend, Rika. Mm. Rika's spirit has been cursed and turns into a cursed entity that mercilessly kills anyone who seems, who deems to threat Yuta. Yuta is convinced to join Juju High by, by Gojo and begins to train in sorcery alongside his new peers, Maki. I love Maki. I love Maki. She is lovely. I love I her lo- too. I love Togi too. I, oh, Inumaki Senpai? Yeah, oh, I shocking, heard the first bro, shocking. And, and Panda, a seemingly talking oh, panda. Man. If they only knew how dope this squad actually was. Right. <laughs> right. Oh my gosh, dude. 
Uh, oh. The fandom says, thanks to connections made with friends and finding his place in Jujutsu High School, Yuta begins to gain the confidence to feel alive. He even begins to become comfortable with his abilities. However, as the training progresses, Yuta learns that the dangers of the Jujutsu world go far beyond that of evil spirits. How, your hype level for this movie is what? Over the top, bro. Just because I actually read this, like this whole arc, I because I, like at the time, uh, uh, Jukai just started, and so I started reading the manga, mm -hmm. and the first thing that popped up was this, the volume zero. I literally read it to start to finish without even really realizing I read it start to finish. I was like, "Are you serious? <laughs> that it?" Well, hold on, whoa, whoa. I, I read it twice because I was just like, wait a minute, I read that way too fast. This this movie is going to be legit. It's going to be so good. If they do as well as they did, which of course they're going to, if they do as well as they did with the season that they just put out, this movie is going to blow people's minds. Well, if the animation is it, I'm thinking the animation is going to be 10 times better than the animation to see it. and if that's the case oh we my eyeballs right. are gonna bleed dude I, just the stuff that happens mind you the um i think it's only like a total of like five to six chapters maybe for this whole mm -hmm. volume and this arc so much happens so much and it when when the whole season first started out, not seeing these characters threw me off because I was just like, the the manga started off with these guys. Where's where are these guys? And then they pop up in the second half, and then I'm like, oh okay, wait, there's a dude missing, and I'm just I'm so happy at the fact that they're actually going to discuss this dude in his own thing because he. Honestly, just with with what goes on with this character, he needs kind of he needs a movie to explain what what's going on with him. Like that that's how that's how I guess I wouldn't say important, but that's how that's how serious this character is, at least from from what I was reading from this volume. I, I could dig it. I'm looking I was just looking looking a little bit up and like damn. <laughs> Dude, it's, I, I just, just put in highlights from this character and pages just started coming up. I'm like, oh, wow. Okay. It's, it's so well done that I, I can't wait. You know, with just see, how seeing how, how the season went and how they animated certain things from the manga, I can't wait to see how they're going to animate this. I can't and, wait. And you said this dude is on the level of Gojo Senpai. Yes. So apparently he has the same he has the same spiritual energy potential as Gojo. But okay. the difference is how he executes it. So Gojo of course he has the experience, he has the training. He he has full control over his spirit energy and everything like that. Whereas uh this guy, he he's still learning, I guess is the best way to explain it. But okay. he has the potential to basically be a gojo so now just imagine you know now is there a reason that they're now introducing us to this character could this be something going on and that's going to happen in the future of the current storyline like is he going to pop up and actually be against that's what i'm worried about but so they actually so if you pay close attention so most people you know who haven't read the manga or anything like that they wouldn't have noticed him. They would have just seen him as like a random character. But mm -hmm. he pops up in the story in the the first season. Um, I believe in the ending, in the opening, and um, uh, in like a few cutscenes or whatever throughout the season. But I have a feeling that because they um, which one called the curse spirits actually talk about this dude, mm -hmm. and so I really hope that basically what happens is they're going to 
I feel like what's going to happen is they're going to try to pull him to their side to work with them. And mm-hmm. then they have to fight him. But at the same time, the basically he'll end up flipping back to the good side and kind of just solve everything in a sense. Mm. So, but I, his, because I don't want to spoil too much. So that's why this is really hard for me to try to say the things that I want to say, but his, his situation with his curse energy is unique. You know, we got to talk about, he has, um, his childhood friend is basically his cursed, uh, it has cursed him. Right. And there's a big dynamic between him and his childhood friend. And so that, that's why I feel like there's going to be a point in time where he's possibly, he might be one of the so-called villains against, you know, you know, uh, Itadori, Yuji, you know, and all of them. Mm. So that's, you know, I don't want to spoil, but it gets hectic. And that's why I'm super hyped. I want to see how how they play thing. You know, obviously they're going to tell his story through this movie and it's going to be well done. It's going to be beautiful, just like the first season was. But I'm hoping that they'll kind of give us a little snippet at the end of the movie leading because he's right now missing you know, uh, from the regular cast into the first season. So I want to, I, I hope that they do like a little snippet at the end of the movie, kind of explaining like where he's been at, or maybe in the second season, they kind of talk about why he isn't with the rest of the team and what he's been doing since being away from the team kind of thing. If that makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. So, um, I'm really excited to see this character pop in like absolutely fanatic. <laughs> well, we'll see what's up. I'm, I'm excited for this myself. So, so let's see what pops off with that. You know 100%. what I'm saying? Because in the end, you need great villains for your heroes. Mm-hmm. Speaking mm-hmm. of heroes, you saw that coming from a mile away, didn't you? Oh, 100%. As soon as you said the word <laughs> villain, I was like, I know exactly where he's going with this. But I we, ha- <laughs> we have. We have a trailer that we're not going to play here you guys have to go and check out that trailer okay you got to go check out that trailer but we're going to show you from what we've learned from this trailer from comic book uh deku is a wanted man in my hero academia world heroes mission a selfless and kind-hearted deck becomes internationally wanted for the most unlikely of crimes in my hero academia's third movie World Heroes Mission. My Hero Academia recently dropped a teaser trailer for its upcoming movie, World Heroes Mission, and it already prom and <laughs> and it promises to be full of surprising twists and turns. Slated to hit Japanese theaters on August 6th, the film's worldwide release will most likely arrive a few months afterward. I hate that. Following the box office success of My Hero Academia's previous films, Two Heroes and Heroes Rising. World Heroes Missions will be the third film of the series and quite possibly the most ambitious. Very little is known about World Heroes Missions of yet. All the information that's been announced is contained in a 30 second trailer that released on March 27th. The trailer itself keeps most of its cards hidden, including the nature of its big world mission and what seems to be a mysterious cult. But in an unexpected and somewhat comical twist, it reveals that the major plot point of the film will be Deku's international status as suspected mass murderer. The the trailer features an American news channel announcing that the Japanese hero Deku is wanted for a crime of mass murder. Though it is a relatively brief moment in an overall trailer, already is a standout moment for fans. Out of all the pictures the news network have chosen of the murderous Deku, they went with the one where he's looking adorably innocent. <laughs> oh my gosh. We don't know who exactly Deku is suspected of killing, but it's an almost given that he didn't actually murder anyone. <laughs> Deku's main lie and drive in life is saving people after all. And he hasn't ever displayed a penchant for unnecessary bloodshed. It's more likely the villain of the film is behind the murders, if they happened at all. Mm. So, are you thinking what I'm thinking? 
Um, Shapeshifter? Either Shapeshifter or... Um, damn, I, I was just about to say his name, and as soon as you transitioned back, I forgot it. What's it? Uh, Stain. Thank you. Jesus. Oh, he would kill a um, Stain? Yeah, something like that. So you know how he was he was huge uh what uh last season or two seasons not last season, two seasons ago. He's, and, he's the reason some people even started watching my hero. Right. He, walked, he looked like a ninja turtle. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> but I feel like maybe you know, because like he, he was huge even in like the my hero universe itself. So I feel like there's it, not necessarily a copycat, but someone who tried to take up his mantle. Okay. And because Deku and his friends were the ones, well, granted, it's not, you know, the official report, but Deku and his friends were the ones that took down Stain. And maybe this person found out the truth and they're trying to, I guess, quote unquote, kill the hero that killed their hero. You know something i feel that's that's what i get from how this is going down okay so at least i could be completely wrong more than likely i will be but i feel like that would be a cool twist it'll also tie in really well with you know the lore and the story that's already been put down and placed so i'm maybe i'm right i hope yeah because my hero movies do seem like they british seasons like right. like something and something that's gonna happen in this movie is going to affect what the next season is going to be about. Right. So that would be an in- interesting aspect in highlighting a high point in the series with the whole uh, hero killer stain arc, and and redoing that in a way that it propels Deku into the next level of heroism. Right, and I like that. And then on top of that, it also plays onto the thing because. I remember when the hero stain, the hero killer stain arc was going down, they were talking about how a lot of more villains started popping up and, you know, putting themselves into play. And Mm -hmm. so this kind of brings into, especially now that, you know, okay, I'm, this ain't even a spoiler at this point, but all might is no longer the number one hero and everything. That symbol of peace and hope is gone and more villains are starting to be a little more courageous in their evil doings and whatnot. I feel like this would be a good standpoint as well, even let alone, you know, granted it's two seasons away, you know, from the stain arc, Mm -hmm. but it, it kind of brings, you know, everything to fruition, you know, it kind of ties in everything, you know, like it was, you know, at its boiling point and now the the lid just popped off kind of thing. No, I definitely get that. I'm, I'm, I, I'm, I'm not as interested in this as I am the Juju Kai movie. Fair. But uh, my hero hasn't missed with movies. True. So Very I true. know that it will be entertaining and that it will bring something of substance to the next film, kind of like the last movie brought uh, um, a character direction and kind of humanized Bakugo. You know what I'm saying, and ma- and made him more likable. So it's I'm curious to see what they do with this and how they're gonna go forward with this. So it's gonna be pretty interesting. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, still a long time away. I hate that. That's that's one thing I hate about anime movies, is that uh, they'll be spoiled for us by the time we get them in the states. It, it's yeah. no way around it. Uh, uh, especially when we're reporting the news, like we'll probably break down the entire movie before we even freaking see it because we have a whole freaking layout of what what happened in the movie. Mm-hmm. Um, the script will pop out; it'll yeah. be online before you know we could even see the movie happen. <laughs> yeah, so um, we'll, we'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens with that. I'm looking forward to it. Sure. Uh, yeah, but. Man, it's been, this it's been a so lot true. of a lot of stuff, a lot of yeah. stuff, yeah, a lot of stuff more more than what we normally do. Yeah, to be honest, but I mean, you know, it's good. You know, that means we got stuff to talk about, right? Yeah, that's that's always uh, dope. I'm trying to figure out how to spell the word right now. Don't mind me. I'm okay. I stuck at spelling all of a sudden. Oh, you're good. I mean, mind you, it's late. <laughs> <laughs> so Facts. since it happened. But uh you know what time you know what time of the podcast it is right now, right? Mm, 
Oh, forsaken recommendation. Oh, I hate you for this because <laughs> I actually didn't. I, I wasn't. I was so geeked about all the news. I didn't really think about what to recommend. But you, you, you were just it. you were just recommending me something, bro. Don't worry about it. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, there is actually a show that just dropped right now. Um, it's still it, only the first episode has dropped. It's called uh, what is it? It's called uh, Yoran, the Princess of Snow and Blood. I just I literally right before us recording this, I just watched the first episode and. I have to say it really plays on the mystery aspect of shows. I, there's a lot of questions that I would like to be answered. Of course, you know, I'm not going to get them all in the first episode. I'm not trying to say that, but it makes me want, I can't wait for the second episode. Cause I'm just like, what's going on? <laughs> so I, I really, I really would like to see the second episode so I can see some more to it. Um, basically the story is, I don't even know how to explain the story. Uh, so there's this girl. She She's like a demon, but not a demon. And she works for this secret organization that works for the government to stop evil plots from happening, trying to topple over the government. And um, there's, there's spirit demons or just demons or special abilities or... I, I, I genuinely don't know, but this is definitely, um, if you have kids or if you are of the younger side, this, it does get pretty graphic. It is rated, um, it's rated 17 and up because of violence and profanity. You do see body dismemberment. Someone's, I'm going to put it out there. Someone's arm gets chopped off and it looks, it looked awesome. <laughs> He said it looked awesome. <laughs> it, is, it looked awesome. But it is, it is, um, I guess it is a somewhat gory show. So if, you know, if you're a little squeamish and everything like that for that kind of stuff, think of like Demon Slayer. You know, you saw stuff like that happen in Demon Slayer. It kind of has that kind of style to it. it. The art style to it was also really beautiful. I did like how um, it kind of has the traditional anime art style, but at the same time it has... It's hard to explain, like a sketch-like or a sketchy art animation in certain scenes that they try to do with it, which kind of make it, I don't know, uh, it makes it look more traditional and more historical, you know, kind of okay. act aspect okay. like to it. And so that also, that's what kind of really also drove me to want to see more because just the animation style, you don't really see this a lot of the times. You see kind of like a very similar art style throughout the whole anime universe in a sense in regards to certain animations you know like animations like you know someone jumping or someone punching something or whatever there there's some type of similarities where there's a few i guess animes that try to do the historical look to it they have this certain kind of art style it's really hard to explain but when you see it you'll be like okay this is what he's talking about because other than that then this dude's just crazy <laughs> but it looks stunning the story seems interesting enough to where i definitely want to see an episode two i want to see more of the show i want this universe to be spread out i need to know <laughs> um and then, of course, there's a show drop that's actually the last episode's about to end, uh, I think, this week. It's called Skate the Infinity. Um, literally, the name explains it. It's about skateboarding. And okay. even if you don't like skateboarding, this show had me enjoying skateboarding so much and the story of it so much that it made me actually think about taking up learning how to skateboard. And I can't skateboard for the life of me. I've tried it once, and I fell flat on my face. But honestly, there's a post about it. If you go check out my Instagram at Forsaken Powers, you'll actually see I made a post about this anime. You'll actually get to see a couple of the clips, that uh, little picture screenshots that I've taken to show you some of the things of the show. It's cute uh, in terms of the animation. It looks beautiful, um, very comical. There are action moments to it. Do check that show out, too. I promise you, you won't regret that one. Yeah, definitely gotta check that out. Maybe we can get some of the skaters that were down with Royal to check that out and maybe come in and like, you know what I'm saying, have a conversation about it. On, Dude, on that would be cool. Friday. That would be cool, you know, because yeah. I, I promise you they're gonna, I feel like they would vibe with it the most. Anybody who's a skateboarder or has that kind, you know, that has been in that kind of lifestyle, 
you know, because skateboarding is a lifestyle. It's not just like a hobby or something like that. It's something that that you become like you're a part of it. And, you know, I feel like they would vibe really well with this show regardless. We definitely got to check that out. But I think that's all the news we have for you guys today. For now. Yeah, for, for now. now. But we'll be back next Saturday. For more anime news, more conversations. <laughs> so make sure that you hit them comments below. Make sure you like and subscribe. Uh, follow us on Instagram at Anime Assemble and at A Plus yes. Opinions. We're getting really yes. active on the Anime Assemble thanks to Mr. Forsaken right here. I'm trying, man. I'm yeah. really trying. <laughs> but we would love, 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 love you guys to go ahead, like it says below, um, to show your support on the Patreon, A Plus Opinions. Uh, that way we're able to bring you more content, better content, and just keep everything going, man. So make sure you guys, we got we got to keep the lights on. Yeah, so, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we got to keep the lights on. You see, I'm, you see, I'm already sitting outside. I can't. I don't even have a house. I'm outside, so you know, <laughs> help, help me put a roof over my head. Um, <laughs> but no, guys, um, we want to thank you guys for taking the time to listen yes, on Patreon or tune in right here on YouTube. As always, I am at Mr. at Nerd Mix Alpha, Mr. Indy Uchiha. This is John Forsaken Powers at Forsaken, right? Oh, yeah, Forsaken Powers at uh, Forsaken with Powers a Z. With, yeah, a Z with a Z on yeah, Instagram. You know, be fancy. Yeah, um. <laughs> Check us out uh, next time and go stream my album. Dude, go it's good. I, I I actually finished uh, listening to it earlier today. I, I rocked with it. You actually get to hear a little bit of your boy in the album. Not saying yeah. nothing, but saying it. Black Luxury was phenomenal. Yeah. Uh, so, Black, Lu Black Luxury featuring Adam A plus Perez. Beautiful, so, by the way. Adam I love what you said. On that song. So you guys can stream that on SoundCloud. It'll be up on Spotify. Now, by the time you hear this, it'll probably be on Spotify and A plus too. Uh, mm -hmm. FAA plus Apple Music. Um, it's on SoundCloud right now. So you guys make sure you check it out. Just search TB TCB Records Hits Indie Uchiha. It'll pop right up. Let us know what you think. Um, might give a contest giveaway for hard copies of T-shirts later. Okay. Guess, you have, guess you have to tune in next week to find out if we're gonna do it or not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm down with that. I'll be there. Yeah, but until next time, guys, keep it A plus. Oh this yeah, is mix. We are out. All right, peace. This is Sony Ara Lynn, and you are now listening to the Anime Assembled podcast with your host, Indy Uchia and John Forsaken Power.